Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. With Earth Week coming around and tons of things coming out like documentaries and bloggers have been posting more things, I couldn't help but feel more inspired. Green Week, well, Earth Week, Earth Day and stuff. I feel like sometimes you guys can get a bit overwhelmed because it kind of feels like a time where everyone is telling you that everything you do is basically wrong. And to a certain extent, that might be true because as a society, we've really created this way of life that's very wasteful and I think that is what inspired me to make this video today which is going to be three easy ways to go green beauty now my channel is mostly green beauty I talk about how to be green and how to still be glam and how to still get that face beat um, while still keeping it green and all that good stuff and you guys know the deal and if you don't, make sure to subscribe because I talk about vegan and cruelty-free beauty and green beauty. But today, I just want to give you guys some tips on going green beauty the right way, doing it for the right reasons. When you sum it up, my definition of green beauty is basically ethical, natural beauty that doesn't sacrifice our health or well-being or the environment. That's really all it is animal testing and harmful ingredients, I feel like it's so outdated and I feel like we don't need it anymore. I feel like why are we testing on animals when we can just create products that have great ingredients that are not harmful to anyone or anything that lives on this earth and this planet. I think it's so outdated and I think we should just toss it and any brand that still does it, I just don't see the point. And being a green beauty blogger has definitely taught me that every fad we do not have to jump on the bandwagon it's so easy to think that you need everything but you really don't my first tip is to just simplify and lower your amount of waste become a minimalist in your own way you don't have to fully conform to the lifestyle and throw everything away and have two pairs of jeans and one shirt and one blush and one foundation you don't have to do that by any means but one way that you can lower your waste is one by downsizing, getting rid of all your toxic ingredients or toxic products, get rid of those, get rid of everything that you don't need, don't use, has been expired, start transitioning if you can't do it all at once. I highly suggest doing it all at once if you can because the feeling is just liberating. Like go ahead, educate yourself, read the books, watch us green beauty bloggers read documentaries, read documentaries, watch documentaries, and do a whole bunch of things to educate yourself so that you know why you're doing things. Green Beauty really makes you go back to the basics and fixes the problems that you're trying to cover with makeup to begin with. It just enhances us and it makes us let go of all those needs that we need in the regular cosmetics world, which is awesome. So my advice to you is to downsize, streamline, and find your center. If you're a product junkie and you love testing out new products and you love beauty, you're just a beauty enthusiast like me, I love beauty, I love foundation, I love face products, I love a good neutral eyeshadow palette, but I don't need a hundred of them. I think that a great way to reducing your waste and reducing your carbon footprint, because you do have to realize that the beauty industry does play a major role in the carbon footprint in your carbon footprint as does the fashion industry you know it takes water to produce these cosmetics it takes plastic or will sit in a landfill for hundreds of years you know like we we don't need that so try to buy less and buy quality a lot of people tell me starting out in green beauty they're like well i don't know what i like yet i i don't know what shades are good for me i just don't know i think that a great way to getting into that is researching things before you buy them and that's a huge thing that I do yes I'm very blessed to have this channel and to have this platform and I get to work with a bunch of indie brands but the reason why I'm so glad that I get to do that is because I get to share with you guys what's good and what's not and what I like and what works for me and what doesn't and it really will save you from buying purchases from purchasing things that from buying purchases from purchasing things that you just do not need and do not want to watch reviews watch videos read the description when you go online and just do your research and another thing that will um, deter me from buying things is really making sure I know what the ingredients are and a really easy way to do that is apps there is the think dirty app is one of my favorites and when you're at the store you can just scan the item at, with your cell phone and it'll tell you the it'll kind of rate the product and tell you if it's like a dirty product or a clean product and this has saved me so many times I read the rating and I see that there's something in there that might be an allergen or 
a toxin or it might not be that great for me and it will save you from buying certain things because sometimes, let's be honest, we read the ingredients list and we just don't know. You don't want to sit there and Google every ingredient. So apps like that make the process of buying a lot better. It will help you become a minimalist and you won't even realize it because you'll find yourself putting things down that you just don't need. And that is the main way that you're going to lower your waist. I promise. Also make sure that the things that you're using come in good, environmentally friendly packaging. The number one thing that I look for in packaging when I'm looking for it to be eco-friendly and good for a planet is glass. I love packaging that comes in glass because when it comes in glass, that means that we can reuse it. Let's say you buy a body butter that comes in glass packaging. You can reuse it and it's ethical and it's sustainable and it's reusable and that's the whole purpose of green beauty that we don't talk about too much because I really feel like we don't want to bore you guys you know that's the key to making our world a little bit better and so things aren't sitting in a landfill but it is convenient and you know a little bit of plastic every every here and there you know sometimes it is necessary sometimes we need a bag sometimes we need a plastic bag because we don't have anything sometimes you know, it's a brand is looking at the cost of the product and they want to put things in plastic because they want to lower the cost. If um, money is an option for you and you can't have a Tata Harper body lotion that comes in uh, recycled glass bottle packaging and you maybe you can afford a Shea Moisture product and it's coming in a plastic bottle, um, something that you could do is just maybe try making your own DIY. I'll try to find a way to upcycle those things, like maybe the plastic lotion bottle you can turn into a vase or you can bedazzle it or something instead of throwing it away and it ends up in a landfill. If you are discarding it, make sure that you're going about it the proper way. Check online, wherever you live, make sure that you know the recycling rules so that you can recycle things properly because that's really the best approach we can take, that and upcycling. And the second way that you can become better with green beauty and you can go straight into the world of green beauty and the lifestyle and all that comes with it is to reuse. So make sure that everything that you, not everything, because we can't be perfectionist here, it's a little hard sometimes, but make sure that a lot of things that you use you're reusing. <laughs> That's basically what it means. So invest in things that you can use over and over again. Like I said before, things in glass packaging. I have a ton of mason jars all around my bathroom and I keep castor oil and coconut oil and I love that my coconut oil comes in a glass packaging because if I want to create a body butter, I can use the mason jar on my coconut oil. So I just love reusable things. I don't mind spending the extra money if I know that I'm going to get a good quality package that I can use again and again and again. A great thing that you can do also is buying a reusable shopping bag. I save my gigantic canvas bags and I go to the grocery store and I use them at the grocery store or if I'm going shopping, I tell them, hey, I don't need a plastic bag. I got my reusable shopping bag. So that's the number one way that you can reuse. Another thing that really touched me when I started to research everything a little bit more, you know, they really are hazardous to our oceans and our marine life. Our ocean is so important. With that, it, it's enough to just make me not even want plastic bags at all. I try my hardest to remember not, and it's so easy sometimes when you're shopping to just be like, oh yeah, I'll take a bag, but if you make the mistake, just give it back. So someone who actually needs it can do it, and that's just a small way that you can live a more ethical and sustainable lifestyle without producing too much waste. And like I said, another way that you can reuse materials is by doing DIY beauty. I say, if you're on a budget, save those coins, girl, and you can just make your own beauty products, which is not only fun, it's fun, you're saving the environment, you're reusing things, and it's just fun. I love making my own hair mask. I love making my own body butters. Soaps, not that good with. I love the fact that I can just have in my beauty room a collection of ingredients, like my favorite oils and my favorite um, 
yeah, essential oils and things like that. So invest in those things because you'll use them less and you'll be able to have a bunch of them in your in your collection and you'll be able to kind of mix and create your own stuff. Sometimes we always want to run and go get something when the reality is you can have everything that you need right in your kitchen. Like if your hair is dry and you have a jar of coconut oil, just do a deep conditioning with it. Let it sit on your hair and then shampoo and condition and it feels like new and your hair no longer feels like a broomstick. I don't know, your nail beds suck. Take some castor oil and just put them on your nail beds and they'll be soft. So delving into the option of DIY Green Beauty is an it's an excellent option and I personally would love to do it more because it is the epitome of the reuse part of reduce, reuse, and recycle. That's it. Which leads me to my next tip which is recycling. The third best way to really get into the green beauty and lifestyle, the green lifestyle in general, is to recycle. Use old materials to make new products. That's something in green beauty that is the most difficult because I feel like we like convenience and it's sometimes hard to think about how we can recycle when it comes to beauty, but there are many, many ways that we can do so. You can take the glass containers that you get, do not throw them away, don't throw out your mason jars, you know, maybe you can use them to hold, you can make nice, cute little floral arrangements. When I get a mason jar, whether I buy a mason jar or I get it from a green beauty product, I figure out ways that I can use it. Like for example, this cute little light that I keep <laughs> in my display. It's like a fairy lights mason jar. I got this mason jar at the Target dollar spot for a dollar. And I use, sometimes I use it for my body butters, sometimes I use it for body scrubs, sometimes I use it as drinking glasses because I think it looks cool when friends come over and we're drinking out of mason jars. A really simple idea that you can use with an old glass jar that you get from maybe an old body scrub that you don't really, you're not really into the green beauty thing, but you still want to find a way to be sustainable and lower your amount of waste, you could maybe make a little fairy light like this. This only cost me $4 and I'm going to have this for a long time. Yeah, before you go thinking about buying home decor, you might have everything you need right in your house. That's why, that's why I say, you know, really think about everything that you've got around before you go buying more things. Today, which is a great example of how I recycled <laughs> and reused, I had a foundation that I hadn't used in a while. So I ran out of my favorite foundation, and which is the KRYs, and I wanted to use a good foundation that wasn't going to settle into my fine lines and I needed full coverage fast. So. My first initial reaction, old Tiffany, would be to run to Sephora and go try out a new foundation, go out, a, go out and buy something, order something online because I go into panic because I don't have foundation. So what I decided to do was, so do you know what? Let me try to mix together my own little formula and see what happens. So I took a pump of one of my mineral foundations and I mixed it together with my Height Beauty Concealer to get a little bit more full coverage and then I mix in a darker shade and a lighter shade to get the perfect undertone and I got this and guys I'm obsessed with it I love the way it looks I didn't have to go out and get a new foundation I feel like I have a new foundation and I didn't even go shopping so sometimes green beauty means experimenting and it means recycling and it means reusing and it means reducing. What are your tips on going green beauty? I'm always looking for new ways myself. I'm always on Pinterest trying to figure out a better way to be a better human. Don't feel pressure to be perfect. We're not perfect. Sometimes, you know, we feel really confused and that's why down below share your tips on how you're being more green in green beauty and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I think the next video is going to be my April favorite, so you'll see me there when I'm going to be talking about all the products I love. <laughs> but I'll make sure that they're all they're all really, 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 really worth talking about. I promise. That's pretty much all I have to say for this one. I hope, thank you guys so much if you watched it and you watched this whole video through. Thank you. I'm more passionate about this stuff than I am the other stuff because it's the whole reason why I do what I do and I've changed this lifestyle. It's just so rewarding to know that I'm being a better human. That's really it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys.